Tinukoy ni dating Senator Juan Ponce Enrile si dating Senator Antonio Trillanes bilang negosyador sa China sa naging problema sa 2012 Discarboro Shoal standoff. Ayon kay Enrile, noong siya ay Senate President, naimbitahan siya ni Pangulong Binigno Aquino III sa Malacanang kasama si na Trillanes at Foreign Affairs Secretary Albert Del Rosario ukol sa naturang issue. Nung dumating ako doon, eh, akong unang dumating. Pangalawa, dumating si Senator Trillanes. Pareho kaming senador noon. Meron siyang ibinubulong sa akin na treason, treason. Di ko naintindihan yung gusto niyang sabihin. Pagkatapos nung dumating na si Albert Del Rosario, kalihim ng Department of Foreign Affairs, at kasama niyang presidente, umupo sila. Bini-briefing kami ni Del Rosario tungkol doon sa nangyari sa Scarborough, uh, Seoul. Ayon kay Enrile, sinabi sa kanya ni Trillanes na nagsilbi siyang negosyador sa China. Sinabi ni Trillanes na nagpunta siya sa China at uh, kinausap niya yung mga namumuno sa China tungkol doon sa bagay na so, sa problema na yun. Ako naman bilang presidente ng Senado noon, Tinanong ko sa kanya, sino, anong, anong karapatan mo na nagpunta sa China? Yung ba, ikusang loob mo lamang ang nagpunta ron. Sabi niya, hindi. Nagpunta ako doon, may authority ako. Sino ang nag-auto sa'yo na pumunta ron? Pagkatapos sumagot si Presidente Aquino, sabi niya, ako sa, ang nag-auto sa kanya. Dito na niya pinag-iingat si Pangulong Aquino ukol sa backdoor negotiation sa China at natuklasan niya mismo kay Del Rosario ang pag-bypass ni Trillanes sa ambassador ng Pilipinas noon sa China. Pagkatapos noon, si Secretary Del Rosario binigyan ako ng sulat ni Ambassador Brady natin sa China na nagre-reklamo na itong si Trillanes ay... Uh, Binabay pa siya. Yung pala, si Trillanes ay pasok at labas sa China na tila hindi na dumadaan sa immigration dahil inuutosan niya ata siya ni Presidente Aquino. Ayon kay Pangulong Rodrigo Duterte, malaking kwestyon kung ano ang mga naganap sa negosasyon ukol sa West Philippine Sea Territorial Dispute kung saan sa kabila ng negosasyon ay nawala pa rin sa kontrol ng Pilipinas ang Scarborough Shoal dahil sa pag-atras ng mga barko ng Pilipinas. Problem, and I told you, who authorized you to make a backroom negotiation with the Chinese for the Scarborough? Yes, and the president... And you were telling me about treason. Remember? Yes, and the president the answered, of, uh, answered, you, answered you directly that he authorized me. He told it in your face, Mr. President. What? Yes, that's correct. Oh, that's correct. I, 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 yes, I accepted I, that oh, because precisely. I did not know that uh, you were authorized. But the fact is that I asked you, whom did you talk to in China? Um, I don't need to report to the Senate President, uh, Mr. President. You have a duty I'm to not, uh, report what obliged. you do as a senator to this uh, chamber. And in fact, you have a, a duty to notify the office of the Senate President when you leave this country to go abroad. But I did and not, the only uh, time that I have authorized you is one time. I do not know how many times you have been to China. My understanding is you have been to China talking to the Chinese government for six times already. Yes. And, uh, and I that you have met them 15 or 16 times. Yes. For what reason? Uh, we do not know. Are you becoming a fifth columnist of the Chinese in this country? Uh, the Senate President is not privy to uh, the backroom uh, channel talks, and I'm not obliged in any way to. I think you have a duty to inform uh, no, the people. I'm not. I'm not uh, I have already informed the people, but not. Uh, not the Senate President. I'm not obliged to report to the Senate President. And all this uh, line of questioning is irrelevant uh, again. And uh, should this uh, line of questioning continue, I will uh, have to say that I will refuse to yield anymore the floor. No, I'm asking you. I'm asking you a question. You went to China. You asked the ambassador of the Philippines there, Madam Brady, 
for a meeting and you said do not take notes during our conversation and you called the Secretary of Foreign Affairs a traitor. In fact, you told me that he committed treason. Yes, it was an executive session and we're not supposed to divulge what's read, happening in you the... You want? I will read into what, the record your conversation uh, with Brady but, uh, it's and his to notes be, to the Department of Foreign it's Affairs. It's supposed to be a confidential matter. It's, yes, but there's nothing so confidential. E even in the uh, executive meeting, cabinet meeting in the... Uh, uh, cabinet meeting in Malacanang. Uh, Mr. President, I will refuse to answer if it's the, if, it, if that's because going to be the line. Because you cannot answer the no, questions I'm going to ask you to about your meeting. In this uh, uh, particular interpretation. Because you cannot answer I the can questions answer, I'm going to I ask you. I can answer, you. but I won't be uh, baited into that trap. You met The, the point here Brady. is, Mr. President, uh, this is Mr. President, how I felt. May I request uh, the, this gentleman uh, Mr. President, to, in to be that admonished. Case, I will refuse to yield the, the floor anymore well for, in that uh, case i will read it to, i will and, read uh, it to the record the the record okay. the, the notes that uh, mrs brady or ambassador brady wrote about your conversation with her in beijing on august 12 2012. you the want point, me to read point this of order, uh, mr president you want me to read uh, this Point of what order. is the point of order? Uh, the uh, the, the Senate President uh, may reveal sensitive uh, information uh, mm -hmm. pertaining to uh, foreign relations and national security, and uh, I believe it is out of order. In you this, do not uh, uh, teach me for the <coughs> parliamentary proceedings. I'm not answerable to anybody the, about what point I of say order, in this uh, Mr. President. The Senate President may proceed. All right, and I have here uh, the, uh, the white paper that you've been writing about the Yeah. 